Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day. Uh, where am I at? 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> I know we changed. Uh, one second. Hold it. Am I right, Basil? It's 10 to 11? Hold it. 10 o'clock to 11 yeah, o'clock. I'm yes. getting, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm spinning around. Okay. 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. He also has a great newsletter, folks. The opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see right under newsletters the opening call on the right-hand side. You just hit subscribe. As you hit subscribe, you can get it for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which saves you $199 at 22%. You can get it for a year for $1195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come, folks, with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Bottom line, you come... Test drive the newsletter. You like it, you'll, no problem. You don't, it doesn't work for you for some reason, you're going to get your money back. And just so you can understand, when you get Basil's newsletter, he has about 12 archives on there. You can understand exactly how to ride this market and ride the Chapman Wave each and every day. And we get a tradable market here, folks. How you doing, man? I'm doing well and talk about tradable market. Look at this uh, the big green, big red candle at Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So that was Thursday, big green candle Friday on the down the daily, red candle yesterday, and now a green candle. This is, I call this the sandwich effect. And what often happens is that when you get these different, very big different color bars, yes, and they alternate color at some point. Uh, they they will reverse or continue that particular pattern. It's almost like a little cluster formation. So I've been anticipating, well, since we, we had sell signals and the Dow, the high was 35,631 on the 16th of August, uh, we were riding the diamonds on the upside. Then we went to the short side. But over the last couple of days, we've been trying to play the diamonds, the Dow diamonds that's one-to-one -one along the Dow. That means that you don't have to short or go long or anything. It's a position that is like the Dow it is the trading position of the Dow itself because you can't trade the Dow unless you go to the futures or you go to the diamonds. So we've been fortunate. We've been able to, over the last couple of days, we've been able to pick up the lows and ride it up and just take profits on the short term. But this is a very interesting one because you can see they're rising lows. And we did start a little, what I call a gray leg A to the upside today because we went above yesterday's a uh, high. Okay. Now, what's really important is that if you look at the weekly chart, the weekly chart is saying, within the context of the high that was made uh, on August the 16th at 35,631, the slide down to 33,613. That's that's only 2,000 points when you're thinking of a market that's had a, such a spectacular move. But I'm considering that this is part of a big consolidation. You and I have been talking about this for quite a while, that there's a consolidation coming. And so my, my anticipation is that the Dow is holding up a, a little bit better than some of the others. We have been short the QQQ. Uh, we've taken profits, uh, a little bit of profit, but now we, we're still holding the short from just the all-time high in the NDX 100 trading vehicle called the Invesco QQQ Trust Series. Hit 382.78. This is the NDX 100 trading vehicle on the 7th of July. A couple of days later, within less than two points of the high, we went short. We still hold a little bit of that position on the short side. I'm anticipating that this is going to be a deeper time and price consolidation. But we've got to anticipate that on the very short term, it got really oversold and therefore uh, you can expect a little bit more of a bounce in the queues to try to catch up to uh, the down, even the S&P. But what I thought I'd do is I'd explain uh, what I've been doing for subscribers. We still have some core long positions and some of them in the medical technology and the uh, uh, we still have that Agilent that we bought at 70 and it, it more than doubled. We've tried to keep a core position. They've taken nice profits. But most importantly, I think it's very selective right now. So I thought I'd go through a particular trade because it's up nicely. It wouldn't, it, otherwise, it wouldn't be fair to subscribers. But this is moving very nicely today. So this morning, when I was last night and this morning, when I was doing, um, actually started over the weekend, I looked at the stock, PayX, P-A-Y-X is the symbol. It does payroll, it does yes. business insurance, benefits, etc. Paychecks, I use them, yeah. Oh, you do? Well, yeah. you know, I, 
I've followed this for years, but because I, I, I don't really do anything with them, I kind of, I missed all those big moves. And then I thought, you know, we've had some stocks that look like this and I keep saying we've got to buy and then I never put it in for the subscribers and they have spectacular moves and there's nothing wrong with them. Everything's right. If you look at the um, nine period moving average of the MAC, the MACD and the, the nine period moving average of the uh, weekly chart, you'll see the MACD is weak. But look how nicely this green line for the nine period moving average is sharply above the 14 period moving average as it made that peak D. And then there's a technique in the Chapman Wave methodology that I, I call, let me just get this right here. It's, it's a, a series, it, it, the price makes a high and then it makes a series of, I mean, let me just try to get this chart, there it is, it makes a series of lower highs and much lower lows. I call it the falling axe, it looks like an axe, there's the handle, there's the, the, the expanding axe blade, it's an, like a cone formation. What happens is sometimes the price then stops at the bottom of a move down, starts to work its way higher, and if it takes out that uh, the upper declining trend line, it can have a one-to-one -one move to the upside, a very sharp move that takes out or goes back to the previous high. Well, I've been looking at this pattern for a couple of days, and it made this beautiful down channel. Look at this, it's a parallel line, a beautiful yeah. down channel. And then there must have been news because it gapped up. And I have a theory about gaps uh, either on the upside or the downside. It's my, my three-day rule. This meant every one of them, it never went below the um, gap low. And I'll give you the price right now. So, Basil, let me ask you something. You like yes. using the nine period on a daily and on the weekly then, right? I use the nine period exponential moving average all the time. And the interesting okay. thing is that the MACD Actually, this green line is the nine period differential. It almost is like uh, because the MACD uses exponential moving averages. Yep. That puts the, that puts the weight on the last the closing price. Okay. I just don't know what it is over the years. I've tried all the different ones. Yeah. I've just I, and I know subscribers always say, you know, the nine EMA is just amazing. I call it no, walking it the no, nine I've been EMA. I've using the daily since you know you've been using it. No doubt. I didn't know you use it on the weekly though. That's cool, man. Yeah. I, I use it in every, every time. But actually, that's the thing. I try to be as consistent as possible. <laughs> So I use it in the, everything, 120, whatever I do, even right here, look on the nine period moving I average. I see, okay, so uh, then whatever you're using it on, you're staying in that time frame. I got yes, it. Yes, okay, because cool. that's a consistency. Right, cool. right, right. Right, and that's all, all I need is consistency. Right. So what I said was for, for it had the spectacular leg A to the upside. Yeah. Underneath the all time, I have 118.62 on the 16th of August. This is pay X. And it ran down to 106. Now, I use a technique on the upside that I call the Chapman Wave two bar reversal. We'll see that where price has like within pennies two days in a row, two bars in a row, and then turns down. We had that on the downside. So we got in this morning at 113.29, and it's trading right now at 117, 116.99. So I like to use these techniques, and that's the demonstration of what we just used today to go along. It's awesome, man. And listen, folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter and web page. Basil just went through. Okay, he goes through this every day for you, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. Opening call, you just hit that baby. Basil, thanks so much. Have a great one, a safe one.